Let's take a look at this problem. We've got 3x minus 7x to the 1 half plus 2 equal to 0. And we're going to solve this using the u substitution. Our first step, let the variable part of the middle be u, variable part of the first be u squared. So this becomes 3u squared minus 7u plus 2 equal to 0. Step 2, solve for u. Well, this is a key number. We got u squared, u, no u, and there's a number in front of u squared. So the key number, we take the number at the beginning times the number at the end, ignoring signs. So we got 3 times 2, which gives us 6. And we're going to come up with our three columns. Our product column, we list all the products, give us 6. We got 1 times 6, 2 times 3. And a sum column, we'll add those together. 1 plus 6 is 7, 2 plus 3 is 5. Difference column, we'll subtract them. 6 minus 1 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1. Now, a number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 7. So we're going to use 1 and 6. And what we do is we rewrite our middle term using those two numbers. Our larger number uh, in the P column that we're using, which is 6, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which in this case is negative. So we've got negative 6u. Number we circled in the S column, S for same sign. So if the 6 is negative, then the 1 has to be negative. So we've got minus 1u. Now we're going to use factoring by grouping. First group has a 3u in common, and that gives us u minus 2. Second group has nothing in common, but my first term's negative, so I'll factor out a negative 1. And that gives us u minus 2. Now our goal was to get these parentheses the same, which they are. So I'll factor out a u minus 2 out in front, and that's going to give us 3u minus 1. Now, zero factor property. If you got zero on one side, you factored the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set u minus 2 equal to zero, and 3u minus 1 equal to zero. Now, we want to solve for u, so I take negative 2 over, and we get u is equal to 2. Here, I'll take negative 1 over, and we get 3u is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 3, and we get u is equal to 1 third. Step 3, plug u equals blank back in. In this particular problem, we said u is equal x to 1 half. So we're going to put in x to the 1 half for u. So we've got x to 1 half is equal to 2, and x to the 1 half is equal to 1 third. Well, these are rational exponents. Um, to solve those, we're going to raise both sides to a power equal to the reciprocal of the, the fraction in the exponent. So we got uh, the 1 half power, so we're going to take both sides of 2 over 1 power. So we got uh, x to 1 half raised to the 2 over 1 is equal 2 to the 2 over 1. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. Take both sides of the 2 over 1 power. And we got 1 third to the 2 over 1. 2's cancel, the 1's cancel, we got x. 2 over 1's 2, so we got 2 squared, which is 4. Here the 2's cancel, 1's cancel, we got x. And 2 over 1's 2, so we got 1 3rd squared, which would give us 1 9th. Maybe. We have to check them, of course. When you raise both sides to a power, you always have to check your answer. If I put 4 in here, uh, 3 times 4 is 12. If I put 4 to the 1 half, that's square root of 4, which is 2. So 7 times 2 is 14. So I have 12 minus 14, which is negative 2, plus 2 uh, gives us 0. So that checks. Now the 1 ninth. If I put 1 ninth here, 1 ninth to uh, 1 half power, that's the square root of 1 ninth, which is 1 third, so that gives us 7 thirds. If I put 1 ninth here, um, that gives us 1 third. 1, one third minus 7 thirds gives us negative 6 thirds, which is negative 2 plus 2, so that checks. And those are answers.